Okay, debate. I'm in a new location. Um, I was invited to a friend's house and I wanted to um, show you a little bit of... Uh, it's kind of a nice part of Texas. Uh, it's right. It's about uh, 40 miles out of San Antonio where I live. And they invited me over. We've been just partying all day. Uh, not like major partying. We did horseshoes. I helped them cook. You know, all kinds of nice stuff. And they're over there laughing right now because they're having a good time. They're barbecuing. And I said, you know what? I want to go out here. And because he showed me a really nice backdrop. And he said, make one of your videos. Because I'm always talking to him about making videos. So this is what my video is going to be about. People. How to get along. So uh, right now, him and his entire family, so not his entire family, but uh, his brothers are all here. And we had other people come over and we all helped cook. We all helped, you know, mess with stuff. We all played horseshoes. And we were just talking and BSing and just having a good time. And I wanted, I wanted to make a video about what that is. What makes people this way? Because we kept bringing up, me and my roommate kept bringing up that guy that always messed with us when we were in our, there are bugs, when we, when we were always walking on eggshells. And we, were all, we kept bringing him up saying, he couldn't do this. He can't do this. So I wanted to make a video on what makes it so you can do this. And it's really important because if you can do this with just people, anybody. Uh, I've known this guy for a month. And he invited me to his home with his family. And I helped him cook and I helped him do this because we shared a lot, not just in stuff in common, but things that mattered, things that are good. And I'm going to have to step back. I apologize. I told you I wasn't going to use a grand backdrop to make my point, but I'm actually at his house. This is not just a backdrop. It's also an important conceptual idea. The, the idea that not only did he invite me over here, but he showed me this place to make a video. It was like a gift. And I, that means a lot to me personally. So back to the video. What kind of people can do this? Uh, ethnically, we have very little in common. He's full-blooded Hispanic. I'm only half Hispanic. But I don't share that cultural Hispanic heritage because I wasn't raised Hispanic. But we share ideals, the moral ideas, the things that are, that other roommate didn't have. He was... He was he was um, a very strong bigot. Uh, he was hateful. He was um, he was negative about everything. Uh, he would he would impose his ideas onto others. Where this guy, uh, his name is Robert, and what he does as as, long, uh, uh, as well as I, uh, we just hang out. We'll talk. We'll share ideas. We'll cook together. We'll clean stuff up together. And we don't even have to talk. We'll just do stuff. And of, of course we do talk. But when we're doing something, we'll do something over here. And then without saying another word, one of us will start doing something else and the other person will help. That mentality of being, it's not that I have to do it. It's that I want to do it. And we both have that. And it's, it's, it's not common enough, you know? It's not common enough. People don't have that. Uh, a lot of the times, I'll, I won't know what I'm doing. And he'll just walk over and say, you do it like this. And he'll show me. And he'll say, do you got it? And if I say, no, 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 do it again. And I'll do it again. And I'll say, okay, now I know how to do it. Because I, I was making a lot of stuff I've never made before. Uh, I was preparing things. I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, okay, is it done yet? And he'll look at it. And he's like, okay, just do this for a couple more minutes. And I'll do that. And he'll do this. And he's doing something else. It's, it's the, 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 the relationship. I don't want to use that word too much. Because it has a it has a con connotation of you know intimacy, but it's 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 the correct word. But it it is it's not romantic. It's friendship, and friendship is something that is it's it's also misused. So I'm not going to get into that because I, I I've I've mentioned that before. But if you can have that, if you can have the kind of thing where you are inviting them into your personal personal areas. And saying, you are welcome here because you are a good person. How many people not only have the trust to do that, but have another person that they can trust to do that? It takes two to have some kind of relationship. You can't have a relationship, at least you shouldn't, if only one person's doing stuff. Or if only one person is capable of doing something. It's like my previous roommate that was bad, 
if we invited him here, he would insult your family. He would insult your friends. He would not be someone you wanted to introduce into your personal life. But since I, I am non-invasive and I am non-judgmental and I am non, you know, just abrasive, he invited me here. And I said yes, because it was a great honor and I respected his invitation. I appreciated it. And there, it's so rare, you know? I mean, they're over there, they're still partying. And I feel a little bad that I came out here and said, you know, I'm gonna do this thing real quick. But you know what? They, they, they respect that. And they're gonna, I'm going to invite them to look at this video. So I just wanna say, this video is about the kind of relationship you can have with strangers. I've never met these people before besides my roommate Robert, but they're they're good people that I've seen. They have, you know, they have the kind of personality that isn't abrasive. Uh, abrasive just means, you know, it, it, it makes you feel bad. And, and when you're with people that make you feel bad, you don't want to be around them. These people make me feel good. And I've only known them for a day. And all of them seem now, obviously, I don't know them, but I would like to get to know them more. But they respect my pri my, my personal life. They were so far. They haven't been, you know, what is this? What is this? What is this? They've just been, hey, what's up? But they've also respected, you know, I said, I would like to not be offered alcohol because I don't drink. And they've said, you know what? Cool. You don't have to drink to hang out with us, even if they are drinking. They're not trying to force their ideas onto me. And that makes me comfortable. Because they've just they they've just said you know what, you can have your own stuff and it doesn't matter. It's just cool, and I like that. I like that a lot. And I've forgotten all of their names. They don't mind. They don't mind that I have a personal issue with remembering. I can't remember very well. So I keep just double checking to make sure this is recording because you know I brought my laptop just for the sake of bringing it. And they said hey make a video. Turns out they wanted me to make a video. That's why they said bring my laptop. So anyway, you know what he did? He said, we're going to go down to the lake later and fish if you want. And I said, sure. He picked out a pole. He, he, he helped me pick out a fishing pole. And then we went over here to here and there's bamboo growing out here. He's like, let's cut down a piece of bamboo and let's going to bring it down to the lake and see how buoyant it is because that's interesting. And then maybe we can make a raft and make a video about it. And I was like, that sounds cool. So I helped him cut it down and we were playing with it and the tip broke off. And I was playing with it and I, I peeled it back and it, it was about this long. When I was holding it and it looked really cool. I was bouncing on my finger, just kind of walking around and you know, it was just neat. I mean, they didn't make fun of me for playing with something that was stupid. They didn't, then they were playing with it a little bit too. Not very much, but it's like, they, they, we, we're calling it the, the, the bam basher or something like that because it's bamboo. But I don't remember. I, 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 I was just playing with it, but this video is about relationships. It's about the kind of friendship you can share with a stranger. And does can you look at somebody that you don't know and just accept them? How many people can do that? How many people do you know that can just, you walk up to a stranger and is like, I appreciate you for being a human being. Let's try to get along. Do you have to know something about them? Probably. But do you really have to? And for safety's sake, yes. But for, but for humanity's sake, not really. I mean, once you get to know them, and, they're be and if you find out they're abrasive, yeah, you can distance yourself and whatever. But give them the chance. I gave, I gave the, my bad roommate the chance, and I've still never said his name, because that wouldn't be right. Even if he's personally wronged me, which he has, I'm not going to just jab him in the back because of that. That's wrong. Just like these guys, they're not going to jab me in the back if they get the if they get the opportunity because well they might i don't know but i'm not going to assume that i'm just going to say hey you know this is me i'm cool like this i'm not cool like this this is me i have personal issues and they've admitted stuff too and i was like this is cool this is this is the the unfiltered friendship that you don't see very often and it's rare it, it's it's sad that it's rare i would like to see it more i this is I was I was not nervous coming down here. I was a little on the on the iffy side of you know what if what if I what if I don't fit in, but they've made me very comfortable here. They they they've you know we we cooked together, 
we, we've talked about just nothing together. We've talked about important things together. And I've only been here for a couple hours. I mean, how, how can you do that? How can you connect on such a personal level in so, so short a time? It's because they just didn't mind stuff. And, and you know what? They're kind of perverted and they're kind of, they're kind of different and they're older than me. So they have stories that I can't really relate to. But I can also relate to the stories my dad has told me. And my dad has told me these kinds of stories, you know, first times in the 1970s and the 1960s and whatever. So I can relate uh, idea-wise, but I don't have those kinds of stories. And they don't mind. I tell them stories that I've had. And they, they think they're kind of nice too. So, you know, I've made them laugh. They've made me laugh. I mean, so what I'm trying to... To, to instill, aside from my random movements and me looking fat on camera, is that you don't need this, this standardized, you know, um, filtered down idea of what a relationship is supposed to be. You just go out and do stuff. You go out, meet people, have fun, just be yourself for one thing. I mean, how often have you met someone that's just been lying about everything to impress? Or lying about things that don't matter because they're embarrassed about themselves? How can you trust if you're not going to allow other people to accept you as who you are? I mean, it obviously takes trust to show them, but, you know, how often are you going to get shot down for lying more often than you're going to get shot down for being truthful? I mean, if they're not going to accept you for who you are, why would they accept you for someone who you're not? I mean, it would just cause you stress. So I haven't lied to them at all. They ask me a question, I say, yeah, whatever. I answer prop, I answer honestly. And I've asked them questions and they say, yeah, blah, 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 even if it's really personal or stupid, because they trust me and I trust them. And I'm not gonna try to backstab them. They already know that. And they're trusting people and I love that. I love people that are honest, at least mildly intelligent about what they're talking about. I mean, if they're just kind of stupid, then, you know, it's, it's hard to relate. But I'm, I'm not trying to insult. But, you know, people that have the, the, the idea of, you know, thinking, a lot, some people don't have that. And I've met a few, uh, it's rare, but they're the kind of people that don't use reasoning. And these guys seem pretty reasonable. But, okay, back on topic, back on topic. Um, this video is about relationships. And if they make a comment I don't feel comfortable with, I'll just say. You now, they will probably respect that. And that idea of understanding that I am respected and I respect them and we have this kind of just you know agreement that we don't have to make boundaries that we'll just ask and they'll just be standard that's the kind of relationship I'm talking about it's the kind of just uh, what's the proper word respect is the good best word I can think of respect and, res and, and relationship uh, but it's really difficult I'm having trouble thinking about it um, it's, it's um, dating wise, we, we've become far too sterilized in dating. You have the standard, you go to a bar or you go to a dinner or you go to a movie and you don't talk. You, it, it, it's, it's bogus. How are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to learn? And this, it's not a date. I mean, that would be weird, but it's, it's getting to know people for the sake of getting to know people. And you, you, you are broadening your mind and possibly theirs, about what these kinds of things are. They have a different culture than me. I have a different culture than them. They make jokes about Californians. I make jokes about Texans. It doesn't matter. We're just having fun. So uh, this video is getting long and I haven't really said much, but I just wanted to make this quick video with this awesome backdrop, which is kind of, it might not look good. I can't really tell in the video, but there's bamboo growing right there. I'd go over there and play with it, but I'm afraid my, my laptop's going to fall because it's balancing on a branch. That's why I'm not getting very far away from it. But <clears throat> um, I like this. They invited me to their home for no reason. And I, it's just awesome. Um, that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything else to say. But, you know, I hope when you guys watch this, which are right over there, I hope you, I hope you, you know, I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope everyone likes watching this video, actually. Not just the people that I made, not just uh, the people that are here, but the, just anyone in general. Because this is how I like friends. This is how I like to make friends, too. Uh, just Not just mutual interest, but, you know, mutual respect. Um, okay, now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to end the video. It's about 15 minutes now anyway. 
So take care, peace, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.